All right, we'll see how quick this is. I have uh, four wheel guns here. One is black powder, one is a converted black powder, one is a, a little more modern converted black powder, and this one right here is a modern wheel gun that just looks like an old one. And I'll explain them all. Let me, we have some uh, dummy rounds that are laser sighted. Oh, those are the dead ones. These are the ones that are good. So we'll use that to sort of, you can see that the light comes on just a little bit. And these are just plain dummy rounds because you don't want to drop a hammer on one of these guns <clears throat> on an empty chamber. We'll talk about this one first. Don't no, this one first here. If you look, you can't see through the chambers at all. And on the back, you can see these little nipples there. If you, if we look through with a light, there is a passage because you put the, the primer on the back here and you put the powder and the ball in there and then you would slide it together. That goes on like that. And this goes on like that. And there's this pin that holds it together and I'll do that so we have it together. And this here you'll see there see there's this deal here that actually is a ramrod that rams the ball and the powder together. So we're not going to use that. But we'll look at the trigger. Right now it's a single action. So if I pull the trigger, nothing happens. And we know if you look in the chambers, there's nothing there. So we know it's unloaded. So pulling the trigger doesn't do anything. You have to cock the hammer back and there should be one stop. Right now, if I pull the trigger, nothing's gonna happen. Because this is just the setting so that you can spin the cylinder. You gotta pull it back one more. Now it's ready and you'd need the nipple on the primer area. And now if I pull the trigger, I don't want to drop it on a chamber, even though it's empty. So I'm gonna put my thumb, which is maybe what should have happened, on the hammer and you pull, and then you can release it slowly down. <clears throat> but that's how this one would work. This I don't think is what was used in uh, a certain movie. So I'll put that aside and we'll look at this one. This is a, it's actually the same cylinder as that one, but what they did is they cut off the back. And now they have a little nub here and you load it like you're gonna load with it. This is the dummy round. Just put that in there. You might have to push to get it flush and then you can put you see there's a notch there and you just line that up so that it closes and now this because it's that way it probably goes in the other side better so I'm gonna flip it over If you notice, I have the hammer back to that first stop on these. And you just have to play with it. I'll get it back together. Once you get it in, you close this. And that's it. And then you just can flip that up. Uh, so I'll do that and get back. So this, this was the way it kind of came back together. I actually dropped the hammer to get it back in easier. Because if you look, actually it's gonna be the same on any of these. Well, this one, there's a little 
you can see a little notch. at the bottom right here. That's what will rotate the cylinder. Let's see. That one's gonna be different. But now we have that back plate has a little pin in it. So if you drop the hammer on that, it's gonna drop the pin. So again, you can cock it back one stop, and now you can spin the cylinder, or you cock it back all the way. Now if I fire, it's gonna drop. If we look at the front, I'm gonna drop the hammer. Remember, I'm holding the hammer to let it drop. We can look in here. see any right there it might be in the chamber so we're gonna pull it back one stop so we're gonna put our round in the gate because the gate's built in we slip this in here like that now we need to if you can see it's not lined up so I need to now we have it back together hammer is on the first stop so we can spin this now here you can open the gate spin it to look. Nothing, nothing. Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four. So it should be set. Let's see. Again, with this one, if I let the hammer down on it, it's touching the primer enough to set off the laser. May set off the primer. So I can pull it back somewhat and then let it go. And my laser might be dying. But if I pull it back, Watch, we're pulling it back. If I get to there, now it won't drop. And the hammer, the trigger won't drop it either. Pull it back the rut next, now it will drop. And this is dropping on an empty chamber, so it's not as big a deal. And you can see that the hammer is just that in the firing pin. It's not gonna hurt it that much. So I can drop it. And triggers on these guns are pretty light when you have the hammer back. Watch, just a little, not much. But the reason you see them doing things like this is because without the hammer back, not much you can do. One other thing they do in uh, cowboy action if you see that chamber, one, two, three, four, five, six, when you load it, you actually leave one chamber open, and that's you always want your hammer to be on that chamber. But I'll show you why it doesn't matter as much with this more modern gun. So here we have our cylinder, round goes in. Came on, and you can well, let's see if we can see it better. All right, now let's look at that. When we bring this back, you can see that little piece of silver in there. And actually, you can see 
looks like a almost a button above it that's the firing pin so if I bring this back right now that bar is over that button or half over it and if I pull the trigger the pin the fire the hammer actually hits the bar which activates the pin but if I take my finger off watch as the as the hammer goes forward that bar drops and the hammer is built in such a way that it's not going to hit the firing pin so here once again there's one step point one well there isn't a intermediate stop on this one but again the point is you want to keep your hand on the hammer when you drop it and you just don't ever want to with this one if I dropped it like that I could do it all day and it's never enough stops it can't it's not going to ever I shouldn't say ever but it's built not to fire the takeaways are when you load a wheel gun you load one two three four five and leave one open so now if we're going to play we want to move that one open one one two three four five so now if we look at the front you can see one two three four five so the hammer is resting on an empty chamber. That's how you remain safe. If I cock it, now it's on a, it's not gonna be empty anymore. This one right here, this one, this chamber is now the one that's empty. So the one in, in the line of the hammer is not anymore.